Hello, my name is Daniel Ripley from CG Dreams. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the human eye in a simple yet effective way. First we're going to be modeling the actual eye, then we're going to be making UVs, export a EPS file as a UV template guide for using in Photoshop, where we're going to be making all of our texture maps. Finally I will finish off with making the relevant materials for the final render. I should mention right at the beginning that this video is not intended for new users to Modo. That being said, um, you'll quickly pick up a lot of what I'm doing, visually seeing what I'm doing in the interface, but it is best for people that have already got um, familiar with Modo itself. So first of all we're going to be starting off with a primitive and we're going to be obviously starting with something similar to an eyeball shape so we're going to be using the sphere. Now if you hold down the shift key you can see this plus sign we're just going to click once and we get the sphere on the screen. Now to save on geometry we do not need the complete whole sphere. Now unlike you may see in some other tutorials you may see that somebody would rotate the eye so we use this part as a center of the eye. Now there's a reason why I don't do that and that is because there's always going to be a pole somewhere along the line and poles are where many polygons are actually using one single vertice and it creates a certain pattern when you're rendering and you don't want this. As an example if we go to the render preview we can see this pattern get a little bit closer now if you can imagine this pattern being on the actual outer shell of the eye where the reflection is going to be you're not going to get quite the smooth finish that you're going to need so this is why I'm going to be working slightly differently what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working from the side for the minute on the right side so I'm going to hold down the control and the space bar and select right now I'm just going to make sure I've got no other polygons selected and with the middle mouse button starting just over the edge you can see here hold this down the middle mouse button and drag we're in polygon selection mode at the moment then back to control and space again to bring our pop-up menu where we can go back to perspective now I'm just going to make sure that I've got all of the faces selected that I want and then I'm going to hit the delete key Now, these four faces is going to be where we're actually going to be creating the iris from. But obviously you'll notice that it's not round. Well, what we do for this is we create a round piece of geometry from this using a very clever script. And this is found on Vertex Monkey. So let's just go over there now to um, find this. So I'm in Vertex Monkey's um, homepage. And all I'm going to do is go up here to here and type in perfect because I know that this particular script is called a perfect circle. Now you can see here that it's got the name perfect circle in this text here so this is the one that we want. And just for the information we're at www.vertexmonkey.com slash scripts under slash modeling under slash edit dot php and that's where we are and that's where we're going to be finding the particular script that we're after and we're in the mesh editing section here if we just move down we will see one here called perfect circle so you need to download this you need to install this and the instructions are there for you to do that once you've done that then locate the script somewhere where you're going to be able to have access to it and then we're going to be start using this script when you're going to use it once and um, it's a fantastic script and um, this is going to enable us to get the geometry that we need. So let's just head off back into Modo. So with this script installed I'm going to actually go and activate this. So I'm going to go to System and Run Script and here's mine already installed. Now you can see that it's just changed the geometry slightly there and you may be thinking well 
it's not actually a circle. Well in fact it is, it's just for the fact that this geometry is currently smoothed. If we take the smoothing off, I'm selecting all the polygons there, or we can select the whole item, just press the tab key, we can see that we have actually got a perfect circle. Now with this perfect circle we're going to be actually using this to create the slight bump that we got in the front of the outer shell and we're also going to be using this to create an indentation for the inner shell so yes we're going to have two halves. Right at this very stage I'm going to be creating some basic UVs and we're going to be going back and we may have to alter the UVs a bit later on. It just helps us get us set things up initially. Now what I've found is that if I try to create the UVs just by selecting this edge here and we go to the UV palette and click on unwrap this is what we get. Now you may be thinking well what's wrong with that? Well I'll tell you what's wrong with that. The problem is is the iris area which is the main part of the texture is very small up in the texture space. This means that we're not going to get a lot of detail, we're not going to be able to capture most of that high resolution detail that we want. Whereas if you see from the current view that I'm in now, the front view, it's better equalized out at the moment. So I'd rather use a different type of projection for this, and this is called project from view. But just before we do this, I want to make this iris a little bit more bigger because it is quite small at the moment. So with these selected, I'm going to press the R key and we just want to expand this a little bit here and you'll be able to look from a different view. We want it roughly the half the size of the actual outer area. So if we look from the front, I want to better fit this area as if we could fit it another one next to it and it will just come towards the edge. So you can it, that would be roughly the size that I want and I'm happy with that. You can obviously spend more time to get it exact to what you want. I'm a bit more happier about that now. Let's go back to our UVs. We're currently in the front view and then we're going to go project from view. We just click once in this area here and then we've got this project from view. Now you may get some UV overlapping on the outside, but it's not going to matter too much. But if you're really concerned about that, you can always just select the outer edge of the geometry and scale it out. Okay, we can just scale that out. You can see that. And finally, we just double click on a polygon to select all of them in the UV area and fit UVs keep a portion and that's fine. Let's go back to our modeling now and we're going to double click on a polygon to select all the faces and we're going to hold control and C on the PC to copy. Go to an empty mesh layer if you haven't already got one create a new one and then control and V. V for victory and now you've actually got two layers. Now we want the inner layer to be slightly smaller so what we'll do first of all is we'll just rename this called inner and we'll rename the other one called outer so we know what we're dealing with. Now that we've got this we can just go to the scale area and we see these widgets here we will just click on this and it links them all together so we're going to type in 99 point five and it's going to scale it by 99.5 percent so it's 0.5 percent of the hundred percent of the outer layer so if we just go a bit closer you can see just about these two layers and I'll just highlight these you can see we've got the outer layer and the inner layer there 